Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing really well. This video is going to be a little bit chaotic because I have a lot on over the next few days. I leave for LA in literally two days time. I can't believe it's come up so quickly, but there's lots happening. So I'm going to bring you guys along for it. It's probably not the smartest move because it takes me so much longer to do things when I'm having to film it as well, but we'll see how we go. I have dinner plans tonight with some of my girlfriends, which I am very excited about. We're going to the Tropic for dinner, so it should be really nice. I haven't eaten there in quite a while, actually. So I'm really excited to have some of the uh, like puff spice bread and the pumpkin hummus. It is so good. If you know, you know, it's incredible. So very excited about that. And I am really hoping for a good sunset because we've had the most incredible sunsets recently. Like you guys would have been seeing all over my Instagram if you follow me in socials. They've just been insane, um, but it's a little bit cloudy today. So I'm not like loving my chances, but we'll have to wait and see. I'm feeling a little bit rushed. I just got back from Brisbane 30 minutes ago. Had to quickly do my makeup. I didn't have to do my hair because I was actually in Brisbane getting my hair done. I go to James Collective. They've been doing my hair for, honestly, I'm going to say like over six years now. So a really long time and they do such a good job. They used to be um, under a different name, but they rebranded in case you get a little bit confused by that. But I will link their IG in the description for you guys in case you do want to check them out. You live in the area. They do a really amazing job. But yeah, I have to quickly touch out the door in a few minutes. So I'll quickly give you guys a fit check. This is tonight's outfit. I'm also really sorry about the lighting. I feel like it's a little bit dark in here, but you get the idea. It's so cute. I really wanted to save this for Euro Summer, but honestly, I just feel like I couldn't wait that long. So she's getting a wear tonight. It's so cute. I feel like I'll still pack this for my trip anyways. But yeah, just a little blue mini dress from White Fox, of course. If you guys have any trips coming up or special occasions, like I feel like this would be a really cute birthday dress as well. I just love it in the blue. It's really fun. <laughs> Happy Friday. Dinner last night was so good. I forgot to film the main meals, I realized. I feel like it's just so tricky, like trying to get all of the content. So I just completely forgot trying to get Instagram stories, videos for TikToks, photos for a dump, and then obviously vlogging as well. I don't know how I managed to forget that, but it happened. So yeah, just pretend you guys saw that, but the pasta and potatoes and chicken were all so, so good. I've had a really nice morning, just in my usual morning routine, like you guys saw. Um, and then I just finished getting ready because I actually have so much filming to do. Also, if it's a little bit echoey in here, I've had to move the couch. So that's why I just have a heap of filming to get done in this space today. So she had to be moved. Um, but yeah, it's a very busy day today getting a heap of content done and just like work done before we leave tomorrow I am also waiting on my LA selects to arrive 
So I had to wait until the very last minute to send them all. So they had to ship my package two days ago. So we're really hoping it arrives today. Like they didn't send till the afternoon on Wednesday. So fingers crossed it comes in time. Otherwise, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, but yeah, I'm cutting things really fine. Usually I'm super organized, but I've just had so much on this month this month has been wild next month is going to be even busier as well so i'm a little bit like stressed out about it but it's fine i'm trying not to be stressed out about it and just tick off one thing at a time so we're we're getting there slowly but surely but usually i'm like halfway packed already and i haven't even thought about packing yet i don't even like i don't even have my clothes to pack so let's just pray it comes this afternoon um but yeah like i said have a heap of content to get done so i'm gonna stop rambling and get stuck into that these are the pieces for the first few tiktoks that i need to film today so i do have to get some white fox tiktoks done this one i'm going to do with these tops the top i currently have on and then these two cute little tops i'm just gonna do like a euro summer vibe tiktok for some top inspo especially this one it's so cute and the one i have it on the moment so adorable i might even film a little try and for you guys as well and then this is some of the new white fox active i'm so in love with it this romper is so sick it has like a cut out in the back but i think i'll just i'll quickly try this on for you guys so you can see properly because it'll just I'll be able to explain it so much better when it's on the body. My discount code for White Fox is just AliExo, by the way, for 15% off. And I will link all the pieces I'm about to show you in the description bar below for you guys as well. Starting off, we just have these jeans that I have shown you guys a million times before. They're just the perfect pair of low-rise jeans. I'm obsessed with them and I do wear them in a size extra small. I've had a few questions asking about what size I wear them in. And then this top is so cute. I'm so obsessed with it. It's just really pretty, really summery and really girly. I love it. I love how it looks with the denim, but I also love it with a maxi skirt or even floy pants as well. I love this top so much. It is super comfortable and it's just screaming Euro Summer, I feel like, with the, like, the lace trim and then the black and white contrast. It's super cute. A lot of the white box like bodysuit, sorry not bodysuit, corset tops are really structured um, whereas this one is like sort of giving a corset vibe but it's not really struck like it is still structured but it's really it's a lot more comfortable I guess um, like the fabric is really stretchy so it's really comfortable to wear. We are actually going to dinner tonight and I might even wear this to dinner we're just going to light years so just super casual nothing too fancy. I don't know I haven't really decided on the vibe I'm going for yet tonight but this could be really cute if I'm not really feeling like dressing up too much. See how I feel later. This is what I mean about the more structured corset tops. This bustier is super structured and it's really firm compared to the last top that I had on, but it's still super nice and is perfect for the right occasion. It's definitely a little bit dressier. I don't know if I'd pair this with jeans. I feel like a mini skirt or something would look super cute, but Actually, I feel like I do like it with the jeans. I like it in the really nice, like, crisp white color as well. It's really pretty. They also have this one in black as well, and I love that it ties up at the front as well. This would also look really pretty with, like, a long, flowy maxi skirt, I feel. And then it does just zip up at the back there as well. White Fox slayed these new activewear pieces. I love them so much. This is the romper. And look at the open back. It is so cute. I'm obsessed with this romper it is so nice and i can't wait to wear it to pilates stop it so stunning just chuck on like your new balance whatever sneakers or even like uggs if you're heading to pilates or slides or whatever it just has a zip here on the side to get it on and off as well which makes it super easy i love both of these so much so the crop just has the little knot in the front there and then it also just has a whole neck style back so it's nice and open and then these pants are so sick you guys i love them so much the fit is so good they're nice and high-waisted and then they just flare out at the bottom and they look so cute with uggs i have been wearing these so much and i love them and then i also just got this crop top as well super cute it has an open back again which is really nice it's a little bit more like conservative i would say um this that one's just a little bit more open at the front whereas this one's a little bit more closed in and then just some plain full length of black tights and then i actually already had this hat before but i'm pretty sure i'm like actually certain that i left it through like i had to take it off and we were going through security from la to miami and then we obviously got through security and i was like damn it i didn't grab my hat so that's annoying because i had to take it off and then i'm not used to wearing caps to be honest i didn't think to put it back on so i must have just left it there because i don't know where else it would be so yeah but honestly it's just the best like shape little black 
cup and just so perfect for hot girl walks if you're walking out in the sun obviously keep your face nice and protected so yeah that's my little mini haul but i'll link these items down below for you guys i managed to get most of my work done thankfully i still have a little bit i need to do once we get back from dinner but that's fine just finished showering and then just getting ready i actually love this scent so much the um whispers in the library so nice jake's friend was over the other day and he was like oh my god like what is this and he wore it out because i feel like it's a really like unisex scent like it smells like either sex can wear it it's very like masculine but it's not too masculine like it's still kind of like them i don't know it's really nice um but yeah we're going two ways to dinner very excited i ended up going with the top that i had on earlier i'll show you guys like what shoes and stuff i'm wearing in a second as well um just need to brush my teeth and then i'll show you guys my outfit this is the outfit i ended up going with come in <laughs> it's like stood there cute <laughs> we're like kind of matching like very casual kind like of. well kind of like very casual vibes you know very true. No? Yep. <laughs> Run us through your outfit. We love doing a fit check with you. Uh, we've got some baggy jeans. Yeah, very nice. Uh, some loafers. Very nice. Um, just a plain white sweats tee. Yeah, beautiful. Uh, some little like vest thingy. Yeah, cute. New era fitted. <laughs> do, do, do. Very nice. <laughs> what was that? You were like... Oh. Um, boys, what are you wearing? <laughs> They're so cute. Um, and then I'm just wearing these jeans that I showed you guys earlier. My little Tony Banker heels and my bomber jacket, which is also White Fox. Excited for dinner? I can't wait. We haven't been there. Like, I know. Months. Jake and I feel like we haven't bonded since... I don't even know when. It's been a minute. We haven't... Well, since like two weeks ago was yeah. our last date night. Yeah, exactly. And we've been really busy, so yeah. I'm excited. And then, for two weeks. And then I leave. We gotta make time. I'm gonna cry, actually. Like, no, I'm so I'm really excited. I'm very grateful, but I miss you guys already. <laughs> <laughs> I miss you. Yes, I do. I miss you. No. No, oh, my baby. I miss you. Yes. He can't jump up. Milo can. Remy can't. He likes getting the high ground. Yeah, Milo, Milo does. He's well practiced. You're gonna miss me. Of course. Always. This is like the uh, the longest we've been apart in like 12 years, besides the last trip. So we rarely we're rarely uh, apart. Very sad. It's a very sad time. It's Come very with me sad. next time. <laughs> I'm kidding. What? I was like, it's very sad. Very noisy. Place. Hopefully, White Fox can bring me next time. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> Good morning guys. I actually forgot to update you yesterday, but my package from White Fox actually never arrived. So they are sending a new one to our LA accommodation for us. So hopefully it arrives not too long after we get there so that I have all the pieces. Um, it's feeling like really weird. I've never packed without having my outfits before. I always have them ready, at least majority of them. So it's going to be a little bit different, um, but I'm just going to focus on packing like all of my necessities and then uh, technology and stuff everything else i suppose it's just weird not having my outfits to try on and style before i go because usually i'll try on all the outfits with whatever shoes or bags or accessories i'm going to wear with them like take a photo in it just so i know what i'm wearing and i'm nice and prepared but that's all right i'm just going to have to deal with that scenario so fine um i've just done a little bit of packing this morning these little bags i just got from etsy they're in different sizes um so i have my rollers hair care products and like tanning products and stuff some more hair products um and then 
this one. Oh, I can't even remember what's in these ones. My makeup and then also some technology stuff. Um, so that's all of that. And then I also need to buy a few more toiletries this morning. I'm actually just about to head off to the shops as well to get an infill. I don't really need it. Like there's really not much <laughs> needing to be done there, but I just want to make sure that they're nice and fresh while I'm away. This is my outfit. I'm just going for really comfy vibes. I just have this little baby tee on, which is from White Fox as well. And then just the flared activewear pants. They're so comfy with my Uggs, which are also from White Fox. And so is this jacket. I think I will stop in. Um, I want to stop in at Tony Benko as well and see if they have any of the tan version of the black suede shoes that I have from them, the vintage style ones, because I really love the tan color. Um, and then I also think I might stop in at No Name Lane afterwards, um, once I'm done at my nail appointment, depending on how much time I have to get the chicken sandwich for lunch. If you guys saw my last vlog where I tried the one from Tarte, there's a little bit of a debate going on the Gold Coast about which one's better, so I think I might quickly stop in before I go and get the No Name Lane one because I was going to get it last weekend but I just didn't get a chance so I think I'll do that for lunch as well and I'll give you guys my review and then I need to come back, finish packing and then we actually leave for the airport at 4pm, um, drive to Brisbane and then our flight's at 9pm tonight so it's a very late flight but it's kind of good because it means I have all day to sort of sort my life out and I feel like I'm on top of things I mean it helps that I don't have to pack really that much stuff um, but yeah go to my nail appointment I'm just getting the same nails that I always get just because I'm boring like that and it is what it is It's happening. I've secured the chicken sandwich. It smells so good. It's like curry mayo, I think, and like chutney and stuff. Okay, this lighting is shocking, but we're dealing with what we've got. This is the chicken sandwich from No Name Lane. Uh, sorry, this is really close as well. It's just in a weird position on the steering wheel. It looks really good. It smells really good. It definitely smells like really different. The um, one at Tarte, so the one at Tarte is like more like bland I would say this one has like curried mayo and chutney and stuff I feel like it's gonna go everywhere it's really good it's definitely such a different vibe though like you can't even compare the two they're so different okay my final review I feel like I just had to like sit in that for a moment and really contemplate the appropriate review I would say I personally prefer the Tarte one just because it is a lot more fresh and a lot creamier like that one is really fresh but it's just like really sweet and the curry um, and chutney makes it really hectic obviously so if you want like a lot of flavor go for that one um, the one from No Name Lane but if you want something that's like more fresh and light I would definitely go the Tarte one and I feel like I could definitely like have the Tarte one more frequently without getting sick of it whereas that one was pretty full on and I feel like I'd get over it pretty quickly um but yeah I just had half and I'm gonna have the other half in a little bit I'm just gonna head home now finish my packing oh my god I can't believe I leave tonight this is so exciting it feels so weird like packing to leave at night time and Jake left for Sydney late last night too so it's been like weird just like being at home by myself packing because usually Jake's like there to help me pack or like sort me out you know um so gonna go home finish packing I'll show you guys what I got as well give you guys a quick little haul of the bits and pieces that I picked up from the shops I am also waiting on a book that I ordered yesterday off of Amazon it says it's meant to be arriving today but I'm just hoping it arrives before we leave because I really want to read it Jake and I are obsessed with Ed Milet we have been for ages now and I was listening to his podcast yesterday again and uh, I just really wanted to buy his book so I did that. Hopefully that comes in time because I would love to read that on the plane. If you guys don't listen to his stuff, you definitely should. He's incredible. We call him our dad because he is just like 
<laughs> Such amazing dad energy. We love him. So he's got a few things from Priceline and Woolies. Also Chemist Warehouse as well. Just a few little top ups of some things. So just hair ties. These are the hair ties. I get the really thick ones. Bow pins. It's got some more little scrunchies. And then uh, just some gum and toothpaste and stuff. Just so I'm not stealing it from home. I don't always buy travel size stuff when I travel. I usually have like ones that I use for multiple trips. But I have been running low on all of these things in particular. So I just got a top up of all of these. Just Nurofen, deodorant, hairspray, etc. etc. I usually take my Bum Bum Cream moisturizer, but I saw this one and I'm just gonna give oh, I'm just gonna give this one a try because um Talia has my little like tub um and I've only got my big one at the moment, so I don't really want to take the full size and I just can't be bothered putting it into a separate container. And then I got this. I used to use this to slick my hair back, but I started just using hair masks. Um, so I just got this just in case I need it and in case I want to use it again. I don't know if it's any good. If you guys have any like styling gel suggestions, please let me know. And then I also picked up these heels from Tony Bianco, except for, because I have these in the black as well, and I'm just, like, not entirely sure how I feel. Like, look how there's, like, black. There's, like, a black thread there. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. It's not really focusing. And I know they're meant to be, like, a vintage look, but they're just, like, really, like, worn looking. So, yeah, I'm a little bit annoyed about that, mostly because I don't have time to exchange them before I go and I obviously want to take them with me so I'm just gonna to have to cop it but like look at the tip there I don't know I feel like that's really annoying and then I also just picked up a um, Frank Green water bottle just a new one I have the big two liter one um, but I just wanted this smaller size because usually I don't take a water bottle with me because it's too annoying because it's really big and chunky um, but I figured this time I'm going to try and just take a smaller water bottle and then just like refill it with the filtered water that's available in the hotels and just see how I go with that because if I can get into a habit of doing that instead of obviously buying the plastic water bottles then that is great. And then I also just picked these up from Chemist Warehouse. I just got some freshies because mine are looking a little bit sad so I just got the bigger style and then these ones as well. They're just like a good earring. I made really good progress on my packing so here I just have all of my clothes and toiletries and whatnot and then yeah clothes are obviously in there in here i just have my bags and then in this side i'm going to be putting all of my shoes and then sorry the lighting just went so weird then i have my neck pillow this is just like some random one i think i actually got it at the airport um i don't know what it's like fluff all over it and then in here it's just my carry-on bag so i just have my airpods um, tripod, water, um, this is my toiletries, and some face wipes as well. Time really is of the essence right now, so I'm going to say goodbye to you guys. Thank you so much for watching this vlog, and I will see you in LA. I'm so excited to be back in LA. I honestly cannot wait to bring you guys along, show you what we get up to. We're also going to Disneyland this time with the whole White Fox crew, so I'm very, very excited about that. So bring you guys along for that. That's going to be right at the end of our trip. Um, and yeah, we're obviously there for their Sin City launch party. It's going to be really fun as well, so I'll bring you guys along for that. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to get stuck into my packing because I've only got like two hours before I get picked up So I really need to hustle and get it all done And I also want to tidy the apartment so that it's nice and clean for when Jay gets back I don't want to be total chaos when he gets back from Sydney So if you made it the whole way through, I love you all so so much Well, I love you all regardless, but if you made it the whole way through, I love you extra Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel as well if you aren't already And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!